theater and showing two of my favorite movies. Which so, uh, so, uh, why you guess, guess wanna come? Yeah, I started. So okay. you probably don't want to mention the movie theater. That you're <laughs> I, I won't mention it specifically. I, oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I was like, I no, mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure you won't. But it, it just before pre because we have no way to edit this. <laughs> that's, so, that's that's we don't have the yeah. ability to to uh, remember to ask the audio guy to cut things out. That's, we we yeah. lack that technology to remember mm-hmm. things. I mean, still got an audio guy. A, after, what? Oh yeah, I'm still sending this shit over to oh. homeboy because I did it myself for like two weeks and it went right back to sounding like shit. And then there was that weird thing with the mic, you know. And I was mm-hmm. like, "Can you fix this?" Could he? Um, I don't know. I don't check. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never once listened to this show. Never. It's something you don't have to worry about. That's about it. Oh god damn! <sighs> but, what the um, fuck is up, everybody? Um, wow, we got two phone guys. Uh, Sorry, I just saw no, this. Uh, I'm, I'm doing business for the show. I got to pull up the. I fucking... was doing business for the no, show. No, you weren't. Too. Yes, I was. What were you doing? We have. I saw this. Our good friends that... Manscaped. Or we'll be hearing about them later. Later on, that's a little tease. <laughs> but <laughs> later on in the show, <laughs> one, of you, one of you pieces of shit leaked the promo code to a website, which uh, is that bad? Yeah, it creates a lot more work for me because they can, then they have to email me and say we we added numbers to the end of the promo code and then I have to look at the email. Wait, isn't it good if show. people use our leaked, promo code? But if they use their, our promo code, that means that we're directing more people to buy their products. Yeah, but we don't see any of that money. Uh, well, but doesn't what that do you think this help us get... add more valuable? What do you think this is? This isn't. No, it's not. We already get paid a million dollars in ad. <laughs> it's true. We get a buyout. Mm-hmm. That's true. We, we do don't see any points on the package. There's no commission on any of this. Yeah. You're likely um, to get renewed, though, by having more promo codes put in. I threaten them. Fair enough. You don't need. It's not right. about performances. You. It's mm-hmm. they made a deal with the devil. That's yeah, right. Nick, Nick is a real. Have you ever sucked head? on the right. devil's penis in the pale moonlight? We signed the contracts, but then I know their address. I know where they live. <laughs> and I say, look, either you re- re- renew, or somebody's mm-hmm. going to take uh, a trip down to PS one twelve and see Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Seven years old. She's got your eyes. Mm-hmm. I can see them through my scope. <laughs> I can see. Yep. I can see her phenotype uh. matches yours through my Barrett fifty cal. That's right. And then, he, and then he kills to... the ham, the class hamster as mm-hmm. a fucking warning sign. Right. Yeah. Just a. She's in class doing like <laughs> my daddy works as a media buyer. <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. manscape <laughs> for manscape and there i'm penis and ball twimming company my, my my dad i'm i could not be more proud of my daddy who works it and then the fucking hamster just explodes <laughs> and then we see mm-hmm. me as willem dafoe and john wick yeah <laughs> yeah but he didn't take the shot right he does. He kills. Oh, uh, we take. He does the lady. Yeah, yeah, he kills yeah. the. Um, well, he doesn't kill her. He wounds her. No, he kills the guys. Tyra, at, right? At, when oh John yes, Wick, when he John does Wick's, it twice. When John Wick's getting bagged, he he saves John Wick. Right. He sends the warning shot in the hotel because he's mm-hmm. going to follow hotel rules. Yeah. You don't kill. You can't on the premises, kill on the premises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he warns John Wick. Yeah. But then in the fucking garage, he kills the Russians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For anybody wondering. I forgot there were two separate sniper Willem Dafoe. Stav has an associate's degree in the John Wick series. <laughs> 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 Professor of Wickology. He took community college That's courses. <laughs> I would literally teach a class on John Wick. I would take that class. I, I, a class on cool. a movie yeah. to me is like <laughs> yeah. as appealing as something can be. Well, it's so funny because it's like that's how you. The, it, it, that was the direction that the tuition bubble was heading in. Is some state school offering like a John Wick mm-hmm. yeah. undergraduate degree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, yeah. I, I, people like, I mean, that's what it was. People are like, yeah, I'm going to this school because it's good for partying and they offer a John Wick degree. Yeah. I yeah, would do that. I'll be too, I'll be a quarter million dollars in debt. <laughs> and, but afterwards, but I'll, I'll be able gotten... to manage a blockbuster. Mm-hmm. That's right. And not only will that pay off the student loans, but they'll be in business forever. <laughs> That was 2004. Yeah, the money that I didn't spend on uh, tuition, I actually took extra loans and put it into Blockbuster stock. Mm-hmm. So it's going to pay for itself. Speaking of Blockbuster, 
Um, actually, not really. It's unrelated to Blockbuster, but I got a new shirt for sale. Fucking love the shirt. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I, I laughed so I'm <laughs> so hard. I got to find something that people can actually wear. I'm wearing. I'm getting one. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll comp you one if you want. Oh, you'll comp shirt. him one. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. The first I always comp, comp shirt. shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first, first comp, comp shirt. shirt that I've heard of. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sav and I have never. Hey, Adam, been would you one. like a free? Stavi baby, I would love one. Thank you, as my friend, for offering. Go to Stavi. I want to make it clear that I don't want one of your shirts. So. <laughs> I don't. It was never offered to you. Yeah, well, it, was. it wasn't offered to because you. This was a you, conversation we were uh, having between the two of us. Do you us. know about the Actually, how Japanese anyways, people to, go? Back to where, where we it's were. about <laughs> pop, pop, being polite. Which is Dylan receiving a free shirt from me, <laughs> mm -hmm. which you can purchase on Come Dot Town. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Adam yeah. will be receiving a free shirt from me, which mm -hmm. you can purchase on Stavi. You know what? Don't worry. We're going to edit all this. Oh, we can edit edit Don't, this now ooh, this is now we know how to edit I'm when stavi.biz comes a, a competitor i'm gonna with do Come a Town swipe up on story to stavi.biz thank you, tell you what, stavi. if, biz if anyone out there has a botnet and they're willing to ddos stop no biz, don't do that you will get a free come on man you know <laughs> they'll do it i need i need a screenshot you of know the they'll do this channel in which you're sending can you stop saying this because they're gonna do it because yeah come on none man. of the people listening to the show have a functional botnet if this happens you I'm owe me ten thousand dollars None of them do. No, no. That's promise my it, challenge. No, to promise him ten thousand dollars. You owe me ten thousand dollars if I'm him. harassed like this. I don't owe him. 10, yes, you do. No, I don't. It's on record. And there's no law that says that if you encourage people to do something criminal, you owe money to the person who's the victim of the crime. I think there is. No, no, no such law exists. All right, now it's a two on. What about situation. that lady that fucking? Oh yeah, the woman that got her face ripped off by the chimp. No, the lady that told her boyfriend oh. to kill himself. Sorry, yeah, she went to jail. A different lady. She went to jail, and you're going to be like her with the fucked up eyebrows. I hate that's that going to be you, Nick. You're yeah, going to be in jail. Yeah, and they're going to paint. They're going to make mm -hmm. you look like that girl, and all the guys in jail are going to have sex with you. Anyways. I didn't tell Welcome you guys to the show, everybody. but six Our months ago is. <laughs> Six months ago, Dylan, I uh, got in a our, pen pal relationship our with a guest woman today in prison. Is Dylan, <laughs> who is rejoining us. Mm -hmm. Last time he was on the show, he talked a little bit about his movie Raccoons. What are they good the, for? The raccoons. That's, that's, I think that's the title. Yeah, <laughs> raccoons. The raccoons. What the hell are these? The things? raccoon it's a nature documentary in IMAX. <laughs> um, at home IMAX. No, uh, Dylan's here promoting his film. Uh, Killer Raccoons 2, Dark Christmas in the Dark. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Currently the number one comedy at the U.S. box office. Mm -hmm. Top yes. 10 as well. Respect. That's amazing. He's all the, all the big guys thought that they could take the number one spot, but Dylan did it. That's yeah. kind of the in narrative the of, of how this show, show worked is everybody else went out of business or died and then we, <laughs> we right. cruised into the mm -hmm. spot. Mm hmm. Of, uh, we engineered a plague. Mm -hmm. Well, I think yeah, <laughs> we, we pulled in three thousand dollars to the box. Nice. It's, uh, it's, it's, nice. it's perfect for the type of movie it is. The nice. fact that we get that. They should try and re-release "Welcome to Marwin" right now. Every, oh, yeah, have you tried? Right. Have you thought about trying to get <laughs> your number one <laughs> distribution in China? We're on that. You're in China. We might be soon. I, we're, <laughs> Honestly, we, that could be we, pop dude, off. I in feel China. like that would pop off because they, first of all, they love raccoons, especially uh, Koreans love raccoons. That, yeah, that's actually the market. Is that why the we've tanuki looking, suit? Lots of those markets are being looked at. We have a distributor that's like, they're like, majority of your money is going to be made internationally. Dude, you, it'll be, how it is I, it's going to be so funny when you make $50 million in Asia. It, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, but I mean, hey, they, like, the, hey, you don't know that. If I make $50,000 yeah. over 10 years, next I'll, time we see you, you're going to be dressed. Dressed in Jackie Chan pajamas, <laughs> looking a fucking Bond villain. Yeah. That'd so what great. kind? Okay, let's make a movie that's going to be big in China. Let's make. We'll plan it out. How are we going to be millionaires? To all the Chinese well, people that listen to the show. We got first a lot. of all, Da Jia Hao. <laughs> Second of all, please check out Dylan's film Raccoons from Outer Space. What the hell are these things? Raccoons with human pussies. Which is too. The, the Chinese. That's not a bad idea. The Chinese. Stop. The Chinese title of the film raccoons what are they good for yep mm -hmm. um okay so what elements would we need to make the the most successful international foreign movie mm -hmm. james bond for one they love james Bond. all right so yeah. we need a british guy no you need a chinese james Bond. chinese, chinese james, james bond, bond. Mm -hmm. so who could play it uh, uh who's man. the ch most famous chinese guy i'm like trying that's to think not jackie Chan. bradley no, too old now. bradley yeah. cooper maybe. bradley cooper bradley? yeah no you <laughs> know who face. tom hanks in that movie where they make them Asian. I think if they went olivia <laughs> munn Dream mm -hmm. some. You just, she's got. That. Oh yeah, it should be Leslie Jones. <laughs> yeah. Leslie Jones. The thing I know, you want to smash it in China. <laughs> step one, start with a black woman. <laughs> That's the key to making a cloud success. atlas. Yeah, 
It's Tom Hanks was, the was the biggest, Chinese in Cloud Atlas. The biggest rage in China right it. now is seeing more representation of they love of, that stuff. Of black mm-hmm. women. They love well, it. Well, BLM yeah. really took off in China. <laughs> yeah. They had some protests and fit. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we need James Bond, and he's shooting the Uyghurs. evil Uyghurs. The yes, Uyghurs. Yes, exactly. He's murdering Uyghur yeah. children, and they're are. like, and the Uyghurs are like, damn, sin. <laughs> <laughs> Played by Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy. Surprising will be his role for Malibu's <laughs> Most Wanted. All right, and then we get. How about the Jamie Kennedy experiment? And he's like, "Have we done this already?" Where he's like, <laughs> I think he's so. like I'm Jamie Kennedy, and I'm going to be sewing two Jewish twins' <laughs> brains together." Oh yeah, the Mengele. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I think we've done mm-hmm. a, some a <laughs> couple different versions yep, of the Jamie Kennedy the experiment. <laughs> I worked for I, I I was working for a Burger King campaign, yeah, like mm-hmm. ad campaign, and they tried to send us over to Taiwan mm-hmm. and have us like fake shut down an imposter Burger King. Oh um, hell yeah! And like not with no permission. Yeah, like they like, oh, tried to wow. they tried to like send the crew over there. They're like, this is a great idea. We're gonna just you were gonna get got, dude. Oh yeah, no, no, we were like this was. The job got you know, the yeah. Yeah, you were gonna get macheted. Like, no, yeah, got Taiwan's got to be wild. It's Chinese Nazis. Is that is that the best way to That's categorize story? It? Is, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I mean, I'm so ignorant <laughs> on, <laughs> on the uh, fascism. Well, over they there. had a civil war in the 40s, and some of the Chinese mm. people were like, "We should all be stupid and uh, not wear glasses." They have good movies. And then the other Chinese people were like, "We're the master race," and the the Chinese the Chinese that said that we should all be morons that live in the, in the provinces. Mm. They won the war, and then the 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 Han supremacists had to go live on an island mm-hmm. where they've been inbreeding for the last. Is six that years. real? Yeah, no. that's the story of the Chinese. No. <laughs> I mean, it, that might be sort of a Western perspective. <laughs> yeah, but, I thought uh, Taiwan was cool or something. Taiwan, Taiwan is freaky. just free market. But, yeah. Uh, or, or, what about Tibet? Which one's cool? I, Tibet. <laughs> ever Tibet. Since they got free Tibet. Free, ever right? since they got free, they've been a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What's going on in Tibet? That's where the uh, Dalai Lama's at. I think Brad yeah. Pitt's allowed to go back now. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, well, mm-hmm. Tibet actually, they, they had to pretend like Tibet was doing well for a couple of years while Martin Scorsese was paying attention to it. Mm-hmm. When he was Kundun? Yeah. And then he became obsessed with, uh, I don't know, probably some type of African instrument. No, he was, <laughs> then, he's obsessed with making your, with technology now. He did Hugo and then he's making Robert De Niro look young. Yeah, that's right. He's all about man, the Hugo, aging. Hugo was gay. Yeah. That was a gay ass movie. It was about you, actually. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. You train. don't even know what it's about. Trains. A train. A gay nope. kid that loves trains. No, you're wrong. It's you. No. And technology. No, it wasn't about me at all. It's a guy, it's a little kid who gets fucked in the ass by Sasha Baron Cohen on a train. It was, it was about uh, I completely film. missed that. <laughs> it's about who? It was about, it was about Scorsese's It was a love, love letter to love the, letter to the to, movies. To the cinema. To the mm. cinema. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that wasn't my interpretation. Yeah, well, you were in the at the concession stand, <laughs> demanding to meet the singing, <laughs> the singing popcorn. Yeah, what the fuck? Don't Yo, put the man the out there if he's not gonna fucking. I'm make trying to crazy. hang out with him. <laughs> not, I want to eat from him while he smiles. <laughs> I'm trying to be boys with the cup that sings. <laughs> I would be so sad when I finally killed him by eating him, mm-hmm. but it would happen. Yeah. That would be your, like, of mice and men. It really would be. Your Broadway play about The you. retarded guy actually eats the guy, though. Yeah. It'd be if, if, if George was made out of popcorn and Lenny ate him. Mm-hmm. We need a little reboot, and Lenny wins, mm-hmm. and then he gets to fucking snap as many necks as he wants. I was thinking it'd be cool to re- to, to do a, <laughs> a, a a production of uh, of Mice and Men, but Lenny never kills the puppy or the girl. George just gets tired of him, mm. just kills him, just for being annoying and retarded because yeah. he has mental. He's like, I thought he'd be dead by now. He's like, yeah, he keeps sa- he keeps handing him puppies and babies and bitches with skinny necks to break, and, and he, he never just does. Likes them. He just mm-hmm. gives him little kisses on the cheeks. Mm-hmm. He's just sweet. He's like, fuck. <laughs> Where's the conflict? Yeah, um, you need that apparently. It's what I, I've been well, we got a real movie guy here shitting on our dreams. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, come on, it's you know you gotta you, you gotta drive the story forward. It's not a movie; it's a play. It's a play. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it's a play true. based on a novel. Yeah, mm-hmm. and literature doesn't require conflict. No, so true. Really, it requires. I remember that from could class. You, could you wax further on that? It's, it's nonsense. It, it's not uh, nonsense. It's no, I, what the Japanese refer to as mono nanoware. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Which is, yeah, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? The suchness of things that you can simply make a movie about the profundity of being a retard mm-hmm. and understand that there is no difference between the retard's nature and your own. So fucking true. But have you seen that? Uh, yeah. You know what? That actually sounds like a movie Adam would literally watch. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's- but it's like Swedish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's right. everything you just said, yeah. and it sucks dick. And then I'd put it <laughs> and on you're like, oh, letterbox. this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's about a retard. <laughs> and then he goes to uh, the woods and dies. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Well, the conflict would be Really? Mother, what did it make you feel nature? or think about, Adam? <laughs> it's about a retard. <laughs> well, it would be and some he, director, he would say. Yeah. Have you guys seen Love Love on the Spectrum on Netflix? No, I have no. not. It's about how everyone's two, telling us two autistic yeah. people how they can get into. Is it, it only two? I well, it's the, I just saw the thing. It reminded me of that Giovanni Urbisi movie where they were like, "We can take care of each other." Oh yeah, the, like, mm-hmm. the one where they were. I guess they were more retarded than like. Well, so like, well but their powers combined, they were. Two well, now it's like I think autistic. They're the most like, retarded version of that. They couldn't do. They couldn't do the retarded one now. Yeah. No, but, you're right. So that, who I, was the girl in that one? Juliette Lewis, she's perfect. Oh like, yeah, she's mm-hmm. kind of halfway you there. Need you played herself. So. Yeah, <laughs> Juliette Lewis, I mean, like, has to be top billed across the board. Oh, well, she's Hondo. yeah, she's um, she's a better Lewis. retard in the Cape Fear remake than she is in uh, the other sister. Which, yeah, it's only like a retard Lolita. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's my know. novel. Yes, that's the novel I'm working Slow on. Lolita. <laughs> Slow Lolita. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just some fucking German professor giving retarded girls candies and chocolates. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be much different than the movie. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it or read it. You haven't seen Cape Fear? No, either one. Either one? Just watch the De Niro and ignore yeah. the Juliet Lewis. You know, I've never seen the original. Do yourself a favor. There's, I don't even know I have a different one other than the oh, yeah. episode. No, it's a remake. It's yeah, some it's classic. A, it's a shot mm-hmm. for shot remake. I should know the nineteen ninety one. Wow! Yeah, look who knows movies. about fucking movies now, well, no, motherfucker. I, I'm I know what I know. <laughs> that's I why. Know nothing. That, that's why when you watch that nineties <laughs> Cape Fear, there's all those like kind of Throwbacks. dated. Well, there's dated shots like those like quick you know like up close shots of uh, well, it's stylized. You know. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's stylized in the, because it's you know a, it's interesting. And now it makes me want to see it more. Yeah. If you look at the the, the, the the cinematography of that movie is like very much like a dated. Huh. Well, for 1990, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can compare it to any other, like, watch, like, fucking, I don't know, Along Came a Spider or any other fucking thriller. Die Hard. Yeah. Um, it yeah. doesn't look or yeah. feel, it feels like a much older movie. I'm not they fuck did a shot for shot up. with Psycho, too. Yeah. Gus did. Van Zandt. Gus Van Zandt. Yeah. yeah. Vince Vaughn. Mm-hmm. I liked Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Vince I Vaughn Dark Psycho. How about Bus Van Pants? <laughs> yes. Mm. And he's always, That's correct. He's nutting in his pants. Yes, yeah. sir. At that. You know what was a hot scene in, what was it, the last... Days on Earth or whatever the fuck the the Cobain oh yeah, yeah. Gus yeah, Van yeah. Sant movie Last Days yeah. Last Days where Wait, Asia, wasn't that a documentary Asia Argento is no. only wearing a shirt and just to squat down and her nice. ass comes out of the shirt mm-hmm. you see her pussy you see her p- <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we need a shot of you a mirror is falling over. <laughs> And you have to pick up the mirror. Well, maybe you, you see the bottom of her pussy. I don't know. Don't have any pants on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was American. And for the first time, you see your pussy. Yes, we see your pussy. He's very. Can you please stop like fact checking every? Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a blend. Okay. Yeah. He's just. He's a gay, what are the a gay guy. guy from I picked up the German accent yeah. from hanging out with Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> <laughs> What other movies did he make? Uh, uh, My Good, Private Good, Idaho. Good, Good Will Hunting. Good Will no. Hunting. Well, that was the boys. The elephant, the sh- school shooting one. Yeah, that one was. the kid around. Yep. Uh, Is that it? To die, like, to die for? Have you seen that movie? Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't sound like any bangers Nicole to me. Nicole Kidman is a fucking 10 in that movie. Absolutely. She's so hot. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw My Private Idaho recently. and it, Did it do things for you? No. Like, middle no. of the... I like for. Friends. For no reason, like in the middle of the movie, it just they just start talking, like doing Shakespeare, like Richard the Fifth or Fuck something. Fuck that, dude. It sucks. <laughs> they were they, that, it nothing sucks. you guys just said except for Good Will Hunting was but a banger. River River Phoenix, you like Hunting? River Phoenix and what? Young yeah, Young. Yeah. Uh, I like Good Will Hunting. I don't know anything else. Okay. River Phoenix and Young Neo are both really cute in the movie, mm. but they play boy whores. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah and they're hustlers. How about Giver Penix? Giver Penix, mm-hmm. and it's, you just take the F out of this his last name, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then G. Penix. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a good one, but I forgot it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> was it? Uh, was it? Hey, this is Stav. Please DDoS my website. No, stop saying that, man. Please. I don't appreciate it. I really hope that you know. Please, there. sick. He's your... gonna do. This is gonna happen. I mean, and he's gonna be like, "What? It's Stav's not my fault." Be pissed. It making... literally will not be my fault. It will literally yes, it be your fault. You don't understand there causality. Is, there is no way it's not your fault. It's absolutely I... not my fault. Someone okay. please murder Stavro. <laughs> I, look, you can't you can't blame a person for putting ideas out into you the cosmos. No, you can't because we uh, no ideas are sourced in the individual. They all Don't exist you in try and pretend to be smart right what? now. It's not trying to be smart. He's, he's a, it's accurate. I am accurate. I, this I, is I, the I, problem. I, I, guys I, like this are going to be like, he's right. Nick yeah, is smart. Exactly right. How many guys like this are there? Yeah, and this uh, is a good guy. I, my whole yeah. There's going to be guys guy just as stupid, my whole point, my whole point but is that with it's, access it's to impossible. mischief. It's impossible for me to be smart because, again, these ideas no, all exist don't externally. You, don't you dare. Look, if I get whatever Existent. the fuck you say, this just sounds like a you owe me today. money. That's my, that, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little spooked. I'm gonna come to your apartment. I'm gonna steal everything in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. It's not, yeah, it's not even luck. his stuff. Oh, is that so, Nick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you his not feel stuff like it's just stuff? ideas? Mm-hmm. Can I have it then? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> you can, you can get up the stairs of my second floor apartment. <laughs> Yeah, we've what been, a clever trap. I've, <laughs> we've been recording at mine because it's one floor lower. It is weird that you ended up living in such a vertical city. I, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with up to three f- floors. Mm-hmm. But after that, it's... Mm-hmm. After that, I'm What's not What's the walking. highest floor you've ever been to? All right, say, I forgot about elevators. With stairs, escalators. with stairs. With stairs? If, imagine a world where there's no elevators or escalators. You could you could make the claim that Stav has probably never seen higher than the fourth floor in his First life. First of all, how dare you? I've been on the Acropolis. <laughs> he's, just, he's just never, he's never he's seen. been on the Acropolis? I've been on the Acropolis, thank you very much. <laughs> that's just a hill. But it's fucking, that's a lot of stairs and shit. Mm. A hill is a stairs. A hill is a hill, one a big. Hill is not a stairs. A hill is a one big slow. stairs. A hill is one big stair. It's a stairs slow. there are. It's a, it's a slow. They're very, very, very little stairs. It's essentially, a, you can you can drag. It's a slope up stairs. It's one big ass stair it's that's sideways. Stair. Yes, a smooth stair. It's a smooth it's sideways a stair. One big ass stair. Speaking of, mm-hmm. but it equals stairs. So yeah. You took the gondola up and walked out? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I really don't think that he would have probably, yeah, four, five. No, months. I've been. Have you gone to like a, have you at sat least in the six or seven? Have you sat no, in the nosebleeds no of the stadium? Oh, thank you. Yeah. MSG in Madison Square. Oh, the, the Raven Stadium. Yeah. I've been high as shit at. Mm-hmm. How about that, motherfucker? Yeah, because I. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's like six stories. M and T Bank. Know. I'd give him six. I've been to at least. Seven. <laughs> At least seventh floor of something. What if there is a girl? This is what we need to do. Now we need to find talking. a girl that's on a, like a sixth floor walk up who's that got be the best. Changing. The best. That would, be, that would be a better version of that movie Elysium where they just get, yes. rid, of, <laughs> get rid of all the escalators and the stairs and everyone's just fat as shit speaking Spanish in the lobby. <laughs> and then there's rich people that just live on like the 20th floor and they're all CrossFit guys. Yeah. Wait, what, 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 what does that make me perfect? That, you're not perfect. I want to be the perfect guy because no, I get No, you're pussy. one of the Spanish but, guys. No, <laughs> what, 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 Adam's thing was that in, there's a girl. In Nick's, in Nick's analogy. Does he continue to... speaking Spanish in that movie or is it only in the beginning? I never saw I, it. I believe it, he faces it out. I don't think. Yeah. I, I, yeah. In the beginning, they start off and it's like Matt Damon and he's like, Borico <laughs> Cataco. He's like a fucking Spanish but, guy. I believe he's fluent. Yeah. But I, mm. you get the impression that he's supposed to be like. You know, a Spanish guy. Wait, what series is that associated with? Elysium. I, I believe it was the sequel. It wasn't a sequel, but the guy who did District Nine. Yeah. It's, oh, really? It's, 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 it was yeah. his next movie. Yeah. And it was supposed to star Eminem. No. Yeah. Wow. Eminem backed out. And, Shut the fuck yeah, up. Something happened with Eminem when they brought in Matt Damon. Oh my God. There's a wait. Got, Matt Damon was the backup choice for Eminem. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Ch- Chappie came next. Yeah. So, Chapp- Chappie. So, well, I mean, like Chappie's not bad. <laughs> that rocks. Yeah. I didn't mind Chappie. Not, Anyways, not bad. Now is the time to mention our good friends over at Manscaped. Yeah. You know who doesn't mm-hmm. have a penis is Chappie. Chappie doesn't have a penis. A machine. But he could but he be. Bucks. But he still grows body. But he has put penis hair. Mm. Chappie was originally a, uh, a pair of scissors designed by Manscaped that became sentient mm-hmm. and couldn't live with himself from eating pubes for <laughs> his entire life. So he went to South Africa to kill himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And then he but instead in with the guy grandma. from Suns out, shaved her pussy. bums out, and hopefully <laughs> your your pubes are not out. Manscaped right. offers the best tools to keep your hair groomed. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, fuck. You, I I You're, just I just manscaped for the first time in a long time. Can you uh, really tell me you? about their tools? Why don't you tell me about your experience using well, Manscaped? Which you I, did I have, use. I'm which you did. You no, no, you used, right? right? I did use Manscaped. You, you did. did use it was really wow. good, wasn't it? I used a razor. And no, no, you <laughs> didn't. You used the uh, yeah, forget what the lawnmower 3.0, didn't you? Remember, we don't have a way to edit this. So Remember, yeah, I'm you used to blow, I'm trying to blow, I'm you, trying to learn about Manscaped. No, you're trying to tell everyone that you used it. You used Shears 2.0 for Manscaped. Just fucking lie. Just lie. You just fucking I'm a bad liar. Liar. <laughs> Terrible liar. It makes me a bad comment. Me... <laughs> Shaving your pubes is lying anyways. That's you're true. lying to women and saying, look at me, I, I'm a little, little boy. My, I'm a boy. I'm a, little, I... I'm a little tiny boy and you're a pedophile. I, sh- I, <laughs> I shave my fucking pubes whore. every time. You know, every time I get like this. Is your wife a fucking pedophile that? whore? <laughs> like, well, then you'll love Manscaped <laughs> Cheers 2.0. Wait, Cheers? <laughs> Yeah, there's shears. Oh. They got shears and they got the lawn. I didn't they know. They switched I'm... it up. They got oh. the, 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 shears. The shears I gave the, to Adam. They got shears. No, I got the lawnmower. No, I, I gave you both. They sent me both and I gave them both to you. Okay. Um, well, I have them too and I love it. Yeah. I love the lawnmower. I, I love whichever one. Whichever is... one we're being paid to talk about today, <laughs> I love yeah. it. <laughs> I can definitely tell the difference between the Shears 2.0 and the lawnmower. Well, yeah, especially yeah, no. once they're out of the packaging and mm-hmm. sitting in my my. Oh, I guess cabinet. Shears is for your nails. No, which Shears I know that for your nails. it's yeah, it is for your nails. It's which luxury, I know because I have it and I've used it and it's good. Uh-huh. I've used it and not only is it good, I've 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 been thinking about cutting my fingers off. Yep. Because mm-hmm. I'm done, I'm, I'm done cut, with my nails. My I'm nails done are perfect. My nails, and now it's like I want to cut myself more and hurt my body so I can feel something. <laughs> so I can feel finally. <laughs> the Shears 2.0 is a luxury four-piece nail kit featuring tempered stainless steel tools. It includes slash tip tweezers, rounded point scissors, fingernail clippers, yep. and a medium grit nail file. I love. Yeah, and I've oh, had one used- today. So if you're some garden district homo trying to right. gallivant around the yep, trying the to get by your- water. Get your fingers like smooth and polished and ready to go in a man's <laughs> yeah, ass. Right. You need to have your ma- your home manicure done so, so you can signal. They call it signaling down mm-hmm. when you're in the French Quarter. Mm-hmm. And you want to let other guys know. That's right. You mean business. You're open. Yeah, open for business. The port of your ass. Yeah. The port of call your port asshole. Port of call my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they pair perfectly with the lawnmower 3.0. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, which I love. More perfect package. You get dimensions on that? Um, yeah, it's um, good. It's, it's, it's well, I'll tell you this much: it's, it's got a it's, quiet stroke technology. Yeah, this is these are the, actually the only things approved by the TSA. Yep. yep. You can't bring your laptop nope. anymore. Now with COVID, the only thing mm-hmm. that the TSA approves to lawnmower bring on a plane 3.0. is lawnmower 3.0 and shears 2.0. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know about shears. They are scissors. Well, Seems like a the plane. lawnmower. The, the thing is, by the time this sword. goes up, the rules probably will have changed. True, yeah. so true. We're working on something right I, now. I have full reason to believe, legally speaking, that by the time <laughs> this ad airs, mm-hmm. the TSA yeah. will have allowed... Both scissors and only the Shears 2.0 brand yep. of scissors on their planes. And if that's not true, here's a disclaimer. I don't I don't know. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Here, how about Suck that for a disclaimer? Di- Suck my dick and use promo code whatever the fuck to buy this shit. 20 at, at, at uh, manscaped.com. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. probably wearing flip-flops. And yeah. people don't want to see those nasty, Fucked up, toes gnarled toes. Damn. How about this? Just, just how about we just say if you're from Iran, you'll yeah. love this stuff. You'll yeah, love yeah. the. It's fucking... Definitely, if you got sort of an Iranian guy vibe, mm-hmm. wearing sandals around and mm-hmm. and doing your own manicures. Yep. You'll love not having ungroomed feet. That's right. When you're on your way to the airport, to, which you will be able to have, which you'll be able, this especially as an Iranian, especially guy. as yeah, an Iranian true. man with open toes sandals. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, why? First of all, sir. Even though you were in flip flops, you got to take those shoes off. Second of all, why do you have a bunch of scissors? All you brought was eighteen <laughs> nail clipper two point I have the to fuck. trim my penis. Sheer two point I have to make sure my penis <laughs> looks cute <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot have my penis and if just my penis and my nails look bad. You know, part of that whole like the fucking how Muslims can't 
they got to trim their mustache, but leave the beard. Mm-hmm. Part of those rules are also you got to trim your pubes. That's awesome. Is it's, it really? Yeah. For real? Yeah. That's uh. It's like the reverse of head coverings. It's hadith. It's Sharia. It's yeah. not Sharia. There's it's a hadith. hadith. Yeah, there's a hadith. So listen, get the mo- mo- fucking lawnmower 3.0 and the fucking uh, shears 2.0. At what frequency? And keep your like, cock and thing? your toes halal. Yeah. So inside the perfect package, you got the Manscaped Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and mm-hmm. moisturizer. Mm-hmm. Because it's very funny to imagine somebody that does all this but doesn't like brush their teeth or get their, <laughs> <laughs> get their haircut. <laughs> they just have their dick preserved like a, a ship in a bottle. They're just slapping aftershave on just their testicles. Just doing all kinds of, yeah, just prep. just It's spa from the waist Ball down. Ball toner. And there, uh, from up from there, it's all just bed sores. Disgusting. Stores. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get More 20% plaque. off plus free shipping. Plaque you can spread on toast and have for lunch. 20% off plus free shipping uh, with the promo code COMETOWN20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping. Mm-hmm. There's promo code... Come town 20. Summer is here. It's time to trim up with Manscaped. That's so true. Yeah. At, at what point is it illegal, like, for the Muslims' pubes to grow out? Like, how free, what, is the, mm. what is the frequency at which it becomes, like, a sin? That's or why against, it's a, against law. That's why it's a dumb, it's a dumb religion. Okay. <laughs> Not in my opinion. Because they don't... You I know, think it's a beautiful they have all these. They have all these rules, but they don't think through to have the rules clarified in any way. Whereas you compare it to something like Japanese Zen and just having tea in the 1600s, there were 630 different rules mm-hmm. for what you're allowed to talk about. What Sounds comforting. Yeah. yeah. Where the tea is supposed to and go. And look, we can say uh, Islam is stupid, but let's not forget Judaism. Yeah. No, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm. Well, that's not a religion. I'm fine to rag on all Abrahamic religions. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not uh, a religion. It's more of like a terms of service. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fine print. Yeah. 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 I was raised conservative Christian. The the rules is what pushes you away. Really? Yeah. I mean, like the idea of just being like as a kid, seeing an inconsistency where it's like. Oh, you got to dress up for morning service, but not for night service. Mm-hmm. Night what? service. But yeah, we've got to go fucking what at the 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Conservative Christian, Conservative like evangelical. I uh, sure. I believe all Christians should be evangelical. Oh, okay. but um, shouts out to Greek Orthodoxy because we're technically Orthodox, but we don't follow any rules. Well, it was called Orthodox Presbyterian Church. That was like the okay. o- the OPC, which is like a fundamentalist. Conservative. You down with OPC? Did you have a guitar at church? No, was it, it was strictly like that. piano hymns and songs. Piano. Oh, like, that's gay. Like, the idea of bringing in, <laughs> you, know, like, it, you know, brick building. Uh-huh. It is. Or like cement inside building, yeah. straight dock. I w- inside I, yeah. peanut butter, outside <laughs> jelly. Exactly. <laughs> seven days of the week, seven different Chevys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would, that's the only song. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Have you ever sucked Sal's penis with the butterfly balls? I want butterfly balls. That'd be cool, dude. Your butterfly balls go tattoo. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like suicide balls. Like suicide. Oh, yeah, suicide balls. Suicide balls. Wait, what are butterfly doors? Yeah, uh, butterfly Same. doors. Butterfly doors, suicide. I think, are gull wing doors because there's gull wing doors. Yeah. There's. Oh, there's yeah, a, those would be cool. A those couple be... of, yeah, the ones that just go out, those are gull doors, and that might be synonymous with butterfly. There's yeah. scissor doors, which are synonymous with lambo doors. Lesbian. No, suicide doors open from the B pillar towards mm-hmm. the back. Mm. So the terms all get fucked up. Like on but... the truck? Like the, like the, access the most famous truck. suicide doors is in the uh, intro to yeah, Entourage. Well, like an old, the, I think the Continental it. was like the last like production car they probably had. No. It, sure, but, but like most, like most current, I swear I have like an access cab. That's that door. Yeah, opens it opens up. that. Yeah, door. that would be yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. I thought we saw it in suicides with the straight ups. No, suicide doors are doors that open towards the rear of the car. Mm. You learn something you every day. I wonder yeah. why that's called. Something. Ones that uh, scissor doors, I think, are synonymous the with Lambos. Lambo doors. Yeah, yeah. I thought Lambo doors were suicide. And suicides. like a DeLorean mm-hmm. is your gull wing, is what you're saying? Those are gull wings. Yeah. Yeah. I want those for my nuts. I want yeah. gull wing nuts. Mm-hmm. They just perch around my cock. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Did you ever, you ever done a, a hood slide? You slide across the hood of my car? Yeah, like, like, like a cops. I do it all the time. You do it a lot? Yeah. I should try it. So I get you, if you take a parking ticket off your car with your ass <laughs> in yeah. front of a meter maid yeah. doing it that they way. They have to take it back. They have to take Even it if back. it's covered in shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if they put it well, in the Well, that's just, that's actually the trick. Motherfucker. Yeah. It you sucks get, to the shit. Every time you do this. Indian guys and And ladies. I took your word for it. I didn't even look up if this is the rule. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just fucking have binoculars waiting for some fucking yeah. meter maid to come by. I gotta find out what those guys' religion is to see if I can scour the books for some way that they're going to hell mm-hmm. or being reborn as, <laughs> yeah, as some kind of shitty bug for <laughs> giving me a ticket. Because I don't, you can't hit them with the like, I was here, they can't see the sign. They'll be like, I don't know what you're right, saying. I'm doing my job. But you, you just pull out a picture of like an elephant with butterfly ears for wings and be like, this guy look familiar to you? Yeah. Did they all get laid what, off? I wonder what he would say. What does he say about snitching? What does he say about snitching? Which is what you're doing, basically. He's like, it, oh no, I've pissed off Printar. It'd be crazy. <laughs> I've pissed off Babar. My Bab- God. Babar is Hindu, yeah. yeah my God, Babar. <laughs> It'd be crazy if those guys, the Indian meter made guys, went home and beat their wives just like regular cops. They probably do. Yeah. You think so? He just, like, he goes home. I mean, home. they have to be angry. He goes home and he opens, like, a, a glass of, uh, I don't know, what's an Indian beer? Oh, India fuck. Pale Ale? Yeah, an India Pale Ale. And he an sits IPA. In, an yeah. IPA. He sits in front of the TV, <laughs> and then he writes himself a ticket and puts it in his mouth. Mm. And it's, that's how he kills himself. That way, yeah. <laughs> he just shoves... Look, his shoves, service weapon. He just okay. shoves a bunch of parking tickets in his mouth until he dies. Yeah, he it's, slices his wrists with a hundreds take on of parking tickets. Erotic <laughs> asphyxiation there. Uh, like, acute laxic acidosis from the tickets. Oh, yeah. You could slice your mouth open with them shits, too. There's a lot of ways you could kill death yourself. Death by paper cuts. Suffocating while each breath. More paper cuts. Ah, that's terrible. I would, that's, that's the fate I wish upon them. For writing, I know. I, just, I, I would at this point. I would probably, if I could look at the amount of money I've spent on parking tickets here in New York, I would probably take that test. You know, like it's like rent. I've just straight up not been paying them since. I the, love it since that, since quarantine. Have you been booted? No. Have ain't. you got? Because once you get booted, you you pay them. Uh, not if I just take a fucking angle grinder to the thing, which at this point I'm Go not, for it. I'm Only... not, I'm not above. I mean, fuck this city. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this fucking place. They're still going to issue parking tickets. I know. I Absolutely. haven't gotten a single one. Since My rent got raised. Uh, what? I used to get them all the time. That's wild. Your rent went up? <laughs> they, they, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm piecing out. I like, they, I put an Insane. offer on a house. I put an offer on a house 12 hours within them sending me a lease renewal with an increased rent. Like, I thought that they paused that. They didn't pause it. No, not, not only did they pause it, they also like when I moved in, I had like I have like the worst credit. I was in a bad situation. Are your landlords? Uh, you no, know no, no, it's not necessary. Uh, Are they? Um, I'm not, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> Let's just say I can't stand it. Um, <laughs> and you can yeah. t- you, whatever, like, oh, we know what you mean. We got it. We got uh, it. That's right. Women. <laughs> <laughs> you, can t- you can take that. The, everyone. the women of races. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. But, but they had two. They had me pay two security deposits to get in my place. Oh my god, um, that's not legal. They're giving either. it back. They're not giving it no. back. So then I didn't know when it, it went illegal, like 2019. Mm-hmm. They did, when we resigned. When I resigned last time. They didn't give me my security deposit back. Mm-hmm. Then when COVID hit in April, I was like, "Hey, I've got two security deposits. Can I just throw? Can I just use one of them for April?" Um, because like, like, I don't know what's going on right now. Like my, my industry was shut down and I wasn't on unemployment. And so I was like, I don't know what to do. Can we just use that? And they're like, yeah, but you're going to have to pay it back. And then I like found out Then I like looked up and found out that was legal. And I was like, are you kidding me? And like, yeah. Just don't pay it. Well, now I'm not even not now I'm not paying the last month's rent and I'm not even telling him I'm moving respect. out. Respect. Like, so I'll just be gone. I'll, Big respect. Like, I'm mm-hmm. like, no, nah, fuck you. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you like, yeah. literally trying to steal money from me. I don't know. I don't during, know. Like, during this time. You like, made yeah. an agreement with them. I don't know if it's so appropriate. <laughs> you should see if you can <laughs> sublet out the space for some commercial thing. Like, if somebody just needs an office or something mm-hmm. for a month. And then collect collect rental income on it, mm-hmm. and then uh, have them find out. Or you should let gypsies move in, because then you make it some. Then you, then you make it somebody else's problem, and you fuck them over, which is. I but believe, then you fuck up those people yeah, that aren't the landlords. Exactly. But yeah. there's the reason. Two break. birds, one stone. That's the pros. Yeah. <laughs> you get justice, and you ruin someone else's life. <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! I had a I had a, a friends who their landlord, let's just say, it was from a an apartheid state in the Middle East that mm-hmm. uh, has occupied <laughs> uh, certain two two parts of. Okay, I yep. guess the entire thing is pal- whatever. Um, <laughs> they made them pay their rent half cash, half check every month. What? So I think That's because taxes, and I think it was because they were probably getting 
some sort of credit for low income, low income housing. So they were just showing the checks. Unbelievable. Yeah. Just stop paying them cash. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell them to go fuck. I'm themselves. at the point where I'm ready to fucking rumble with the landlord. Dude. You have a Greek? No, I don't. I have a I have a, a meter maid style landlord. Wow. In <laughs> yeah. in your country. <laughs> yeah, in, in, my, in Astoria. Yeah. Yep. Wow. But uh he's a piece of shit. He doesn't really well, I won't say he's a piece of shit, but he's just like a neglectful ass motherfucker. I've never had a bad landlord except for the Korean guy in Los Angeles. Oh yeah. You're ready to go to war. Dude, Sounds terrible. I I drove last time I was in LA I just drove past that place and I was like, What if I just kill this motherfucker? <laughs> like, no one knows I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I sat out in the fucking <laughs> rental car and I was like, hey. like the Italians that the that they would <laughs> like, always use for hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just knock on the door. D H L. D H L. No one knows they I'm here. They got the wrong guy. It's been it's been two. It's been three years almost. You killed yeah. the wrong Korean. No, I would know. You sure. would know. Yeah. He's been taking enough Chinese classes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same thing. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, how would you do it? If you did it. I assume with a samurai sword. Yeah, I don't know. You just stab him in the chest. Really. Knock on the door. Stab him in the heart. You yeah. know? Fuck him maybe a couple times in the neck. Mm-hmm. Wipe the mm-hmm. knife off. Leave it there. You know, just some bullshit. Not, you know. You're not afraid of him fighting back? If you, if You'd you... stab him in the no, heart? You'd stab him in the neck and face real quick yeah. a couple mm-hmm. of times. <laughs> You'd be, people would be in shock. He doesn't know what to expect. You'd do like a classic phone check. Big, prison yeah, style big shit. kitchen knife. You just he, fucking he's Korean, though. just get him. I don't care. Stab face, neck. Just... You don't think gun? What's that? You, don't, you wouldn't go gun? But that that causes this whole issue where it's like, you know. A trail. You know, yeah, exactly. Where am I going to get a that gun? That gun was made somewhere. It's already risky enough to use mm-hmm. a fucking knife. I mean, it's risky to to go there to murder this guy, to <laughs> yeah. talk about it on the show. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> the right. main issue is that I wouldn't be able to stop myself from talking about it on the show. Right. Or one of you would. Most likely Adam would. Let's be honest. No, I would that's not. not true. Yeah, Adam would be. Adam no, would be like, that is that's something like, you say you I do that I don't murder do. Murder that guy? I have yeah. no. If anything, you you have the least discretion of the three of us. I, I will let you know that, that Stav has already violated our discretion rules once during this episode. It's not true. Yes, it is. I'm not going to point out how. I will privately later. <laughs> but you you absolutely have, and you would. I I would also admit I would be the one to let it slip that I murdered a Korean man. <laughs> But it's who had wronged you? Okay? Who had wronged me? Yeah, right. it's not just some yeah. random killing. Okay, a guy just, that justified. that ripped Nick off to the tune of maybe twelve hundred dollars once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was sixteen hundred dollars. All right, and it would be worth murdering him. <laughs> okay, yeah. that is a lot of money. I will say, it's a lot the time of that meant a lot. No, that guy was one million percent in the fucking wrong. I mean, yeah. it was egregious how fucking shit no, that a guy scam. was. He had security cameras in the apartment. <laughs> and he would like call you if you broke one of these like draconian house rules. Like I touched some some Chinese lady's floor mat, and he fucking like I'm getting phone calls at two o'clock in the morning. I can't believe you lived in a home with. I just needed. Cameras. I got. I had a job, and I had to get an Airbnb. I went to L.A. for this job. They called me last minute. Sure. It was okay. like I had three days to move to Los Angeles, and it was before I was making money. Okay. So. Uh, they're like, okay, congrats, you're ready on the show. Now, the first paycheck comes in, you're good. But, sure. like, you know, I just nothing. So I went out to L.A., and then I crashed on my friend's couch. And he's a real nice guy, but I guess no one, like, he had another friend that had stayed on the couch the week before. So I sleep on the couch one night, and then I'm at work the first day, and I have, like, what I think is a spider bite on my hand. Oh, he's got bed bugs. And then the couch is infested uh, with fucking bed bugs. Oh, dude. So the three days later, I'm, like, covered in them. He's panicking. I feel bad. I'm having to, like, fucking put all my shit in a bag and put it in the dryer for two hours every morning before work. I'm like, I got to find a place. And I find this place on Craigslist. The money kind of makes sense. It's, like, kind of in, a, in an area or whatever that, that makes sense. And I go there. And as I'm like, he has a rental agreement. The room looks fine. But as like I'm signing it, he's like, oh, and this, oh, and this, oh, and I'm like, come, I'm like, man, he's like, well, I got, I got to rent this to somebody else. So it's not. And then it's like, do I now am I, what am I going to go to subject myself to bed bugs again for the night? I mean, I'm a hotel man. I didn't have the money for it. I I mean, mean, well, you're paying for the Airbnb, right? Yeah, but it was, it was like, I didn't have the money to then go out that night, find the fucking $200, 250, however much it was in Los Angeles for the night. That's like another like out of the pocket thing when I'm gonna have to pay rent for a full month anyway. You got like you got day. finessed by this Korean man. Yeah. 
Well, I was in a shitty situation. I know. He shook like you stuck. down. Yeah. You were fucked. No, I was fucked. He could tell. He, he saw you were on the end of, end of your rope. Mm-hmm. And then he stuck his fucking prick. In that's, your... why, uh, that's why. That's why I took a little cruise by the house, and I thought maybe. <laughs> and all he did was take a cruise, folks. Yeah. That's wait. What happened? He didn't else. That's the thing. If a China, a Korean guy was dead, how would anyone even? How would know? anybody know oh, that it was the one we're talking? Yeah. About? So wait. So <laughs> so the cops are like, this could be anybody. This could be how the guy from Paris. Like, like he has a wallet with an ID in there, and they're like, what are we supposed to do? Look this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Gook Squad. <laughs> <laughs> LAPD Gook Squad. <laughs> it's the forties. <laughs> That's what it would have been called back then. Yeah, We're in the, in yeah. this universe, it's not. Well, this well, this cop was recently thawed out of ice. Yes, Ooh. he was. Speaking of speaking of good movies, yep. Mm. Fucking seashells, man. Yep. That, that's what this wasn't like. there a movie called Gook Squad that came out a couple yeah. of years ago? Mm-hmm. I'm sure there was. Uh, with, yeah. yeah, with Josh Brolin, <laughs> where they would like CGI their faces. No, yeah. with with really? it, you're thinking of Is that um, Sicario. Yeah, you're yeah, thinking of the movie I was just talking that's about. Day of the Soldado. No, that one sucked, by the way, the second one. Yeah, yeah it was bad. I'm pretty um, sure it was called two, Gook Squad. And no, it, it was called Cloud Atlas. Uh, I think yeah, you might... It. I think you, I, <laughs> it was. It was weird, man. It was called CushyDreams.com. CushyDreams.com. Nice. It's a uh, place... Uh, and it's about high-quality CBD uh, locally fucking grown and shit. And yeah, they got a lot of different fucking... St- textures and blends of indica and sativas you smoke your seat get off your phone i I was just trying to see if gook squad was a movie was certainly not (laughs) (laughs) i feel like i mean it's like one thing to like i feel like mom just 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 said to to not contribute bits but then to like take a suggestion like was gook squad a movie (laughs) seriously No, I wanted to. Uh, I thought it was like you were, I, you mis, I, misremembered the name. Of or course, there wasn't a movie called Gook Squad. <laughs> what? No, you said it I've, on the comedy podcast we do. <laughs> no, sometimes you said it, you things, said it like you thought it was real. Ninety nine percent of the things that are said. don't do this contribute nothing bullshit again <laughs> because you thought Gook Squad was a movie. <laughs> yes, you did. Starring Josh Brolin. Yeah, I feel like I'm I have. My- I feel like I'm over at my friend's place for dinner, and mommy and daddy just got in a fight. No. Yeah, it's like I'm well, like, and I'm the daddy. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. trying to figure that one out. The daddy is gay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm the gay daddy, and this is my beard, Nick. <laughs> it was That's why she's got a giant beard. That's right. Mm-hmm. The bearded lady. I make her wear it. You do think- you want to do the ad read now? You gonna help out with that? Or yeah, dreams? okay. So say something. Why don't you say something about the fucking company? Cushy dreams changed my fucking life. Me too, brother. Me I, fucking too. I was I was going through a really rough time. I was down on Skid Row. I was trying to. I was doing anything for money. He was mm-hmm. sucking cock for stuff that for CBD brands. Sitting his tent up, and some old black guy comes mm-hmm. up to him. He's like, "Look, man, you too gay to be homeless." <laughs> <laughs> We got a whole vibe down here. We got a, we got like a style going on. And you just, you fucking the whole thing up, man. You're making Skid Row look bad. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining the whole aesthetic of Skid Row. You didn't Row. even go to no Vietnam. Walking around in a wetsuit telling everybody <laughs> you can't wait to, to hit the suds or whatever dumb shit. <laughs> wait, are you talking about surfing right now? That's not gay. It is gay. No, it's not gay. Yeah, it's gay. <laughs> Lifting weights is gay. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Surfing Everything's cool. Uh, yeah, yep. Lifting weights. So Guys, it's both tension. gay. It's like, <laughs> they're both, both of gay? the things you like to do are gay. Not true. Um, now should be <clears> What's <throat> not gay, or maybe it is, if you're gay, is cushy dreams. Yeah. They well, specialize. cushy dreams. I've is... had some pretty gay cushy dreams. It's good. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Have, have you, have you fucked with this CBD oil? Um, I, it's not oil. It's I, high quality. It's, it's oh, I was talking about marijuana. marijuana. We got tinctures uh, and stuff. High quality. No, no, it's no, it's no, flour. No, it's none of that bullshit. It's CBD. No one wants that. CBD oil is is fake. It's snake it's oil. Fake. No, I mm-hmm. smoke CBD. Yeah. But yeah, I got busted the by plant. the cops. I got a bunch of weed confiscated a couple last week because they didn't believe that it was. Uh... I was driving it back from Denver. <laughs> Oh, um, you literally, yeah. That wouldn't have happened if you were smoking high quality CBD. Well, it would have happened dreams. because it looks so much. Because it looks like so much it looks like and smells and it tastes. They, can, mm-hmm. they can't do a roadside test. Well, they when they ship it, it to you, it does come with like a letter you're supposed to give to the cops if they take it or something. Really? Well, it says something. I, maybe it's for like the post office, but they're like, this isn't weed. I know it looks like weed. Yeah, you got to prove that. They took my. But it's like, you should just save here. that letter and use that letter <laughs> for real weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. If that's all it takes is a permission slip from the, from company, the company, from the drug dealer. <laughs> like, I know this looks like co- t- cocaine, but it's actually fucking baby aspirin. 
But this is you can get this is fla- CBD flower you can get in New it's York. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's not well, just New York. You get it you get it ship, shipped states. in all fifty states. All, all my 50 friend. states. That's Hawaii, states. Alaska I'm, too. I'm ordering the manscaping kit. I'm mm, ordering the right. Christian dreams. Thank you. Like, yep. Are you guys are you guys still sponsored by Ridge? Shut the no no. All you need to worry about for right now for the next five minutes or so is cushy dream. We oh, are yeah. we are technically sponsored. Are we? Yeah, yeah they're in the this family. Just, Nobody just, has a wallet anymore. This just changed my life. Oh, did you, love you just it. get it? No, okay, you, we, you gave it to me. Oh, right. No, when, what he's talking about? You, yeah. What he's ta- <laughs> Hold on. I gave that to you, and then I I gave one of them to my cousin. Like I gave my cousins for their birthdays, like Ridge wallets. No, you gave them cushy dreams. I gave them pre rolls, Ridge wallets for their birthdays, and then one of them was, I just gave. <laughs> The box was empty because I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I had given it to That's you, so and I funny. saved the box. And he was like, "What's the fuck is this?" I'm like, "Oh, my bad." <laughs> well, you can I make used to have a big ass fat Costanza wallet. Yeah. And now I feel like. Well, anyways, <laughs> you so can make up for it smoke. You can by smoke giving your weed. cousins. Yeah, CBD by, it. by Cushy, Cushy Dream CBD. Mm-hmm. It looks like high quality marijuana. Feels like high quality marijuana. I love the. And feel. it tastes, it tastes like, like high quality marijuana, but it's actually dank. <sighs> CBD. The content mm-hmm. is up to twenty percent, which is and, the highest in the game. Mm-hmm. The attention to detail is noticeable in every beautiful flower. Oh, yeah. gorgeous! So if you're one of these retards that likes looking at their weed and talking right. about it, it's right. good for that. It is too. good for that. It looks gorgeous. You the crystals. I just like here to be sold. It looks like a yeah. woman's pussy. The hairs, the crystals, and, and, phenomenal. And, and I'm correct. You said that they have indica and sativa strains yeah. of the CBD, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and they got gay names like relax or create or peace yeah. or hustle, oh. which are the, the things. That, that I love? do throughout my day. It's very yeah. Gainesian. Mm-hmm. Um, do not get. They do not. Does not get you high. There's no THC. Independent lab testing shows compliance. Improved. I don't need the sentence. Does not get me high. The uh, they're it grown. Gets you, it gets you nice. Though. It gets you nice. No, but it has an effect. Like they're, high yeah. is relative. They're it grown, makes you feel amazing. It's grown in California and Oregon, the weed states. Mm-hmm. And their plant is hand selected by a team of experienced cannabis flower. I feel like red states should steal weed from California, or Oregon. Mm-hmm. That, then they it's got kind of, everything. That'd be cool. Each batch is slow cured for two to four <laughs> weeks to guarantee maximum freshness and preserve flavor and cannab- the cannabinoids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gotta say all this shit with a fucking canker sore. Should have smoked some cushy dreams. Yeah, that would have cured it. Yeah. Ah, I, I smoke Christian dreams and I blow it into my dick hole and I get and my dick gets hard. I just have yeah. constant canker sores yeah. now. Why? I don't your know. Diet? Is your diet? I have no fun? idea. No, are I don't, you, I don't are you, know. Are you eating? I am eating. Yeah, I used are to you get them. You know what? It might be. School. It might be that I'm. I'm like just fucking drinking. Like I'm. I'm up to like probably 15 cups of coffee. That's a day so now. bad for you, dude. No, it, I don't think it is for your stomach. It's yep. really bad. Absolute, I don't care. It absolutely is. You know what's bad, Adam? Unchecked racism. <laughs> <laughs> not not understanding the time and the place and the subtle nuances of employing racial slurs <laughs> so that you can dance in the moonlight mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, that's right, so you can yeah. navigate beautifully mm-hmm. the the rich the tapestry ballet. the rich tapestry of american racism and and the the so proper you're... ways to satis- to satirize it on the razor's edge of whatever the fuck. That's true. It's a great yeah. comedic effect. It's a I, great comedic effect. I agree. And it's not just blasting an end bomb in the middle of an ad read. No, come on. Which they, nobody what, did, by the way. No one which did. nobody did. Which nobody did. It sounded like it. No, Adam. That's what my. No one did. My, my address sounds Look, like it. The, the vulnerability. I don't understand. The vulnerability. The, let's just get right to the now, read because we'll get into this. No, I don't want to get into a discussion. <laughs> because let's finish the read. Selection please. includes indoor exotic strains, 100% hand trimmed, mm-hmm. never machine trimmed. Never. Never. Uh, so, okay. So, this is the confusing part. Like they got two main trim. product lines the flower and the joints, the pre rolls. The pre rolls. I, I love a pre roll. I love Each pre roll is a full gram, smooth rolls, optimal burn. They are nice. They're really nice. Nothing uh, like paying someone else to do your labor for you. I fuck with them. And dude. they're all either sativas, indicas, or hybrids. I burn them up. I love the hustle. The hustle gets me going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've been smoking. I smoke a, I smoke a pre roll. While I watch NBA basketball, and that's my fucking, that's the way I uh, right. wind it's, down. Smokable best, flower, right it comes in three lines, the private reserve, ultra premium, and premium. Mm. Every can is an eighth, and each can is nitrogen sealed for optimal freshness. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Them shits come out fresher than my They dick. got NOS. Is there a seals promo it. code? Did I miss that? Uh, the promo code is Town for 20% off your first order. You go to cushydreams.com, K-U-S-H-Y, dreams. Right. Mm-hmm. And smoke your CBD because you can. Because you can. 
Now, here's what's no, all right. Let's just m- you move right. <laughs> we along. are moving on, but I'm, I'm talking about theoretically. Theoretically, uh-huh. is saying the N word. You don't want that on record, but just the acknowledgement that you have said the N word at some time in the past. Everyone would cop to that. Correct. Almost everyone would say yes. Of course, uh-huh. on stage. Of course. Uh-huh. Uh, with the exception of women, I don't think white no, women, I don't think women would. Women don't. I date. I was dating a girl, and she was like, you know, I was like, come on, you said the n word, and she's like, no, I've never said the n word once in my life. And I thought about it, and I'm like, damn, that's probably true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whereas right. for me, it's something as simple as pissing standing up, of mm-hmm. course, I mean, you know, or it, getting your dick hard. It's right. When I got used, used, if they, <laughs> yeah. it's if they got used by one. It's when I was about, in uh, science class, I had to read out loud, and I said orgasm instead of organism. And I was given detention because she thought I did it on Don't purpose. Don't try to turn it into a cute story. No, it's discussing your story. crime. <laughs> that, well, no one did anything. There's no, no crime. There was no crime. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody did a crime, that's for sure. <laughs> no, it's not technical. It'd be funny if in 10 years it is a crime and we yeah. don't have any principle of, uh, what is it, like ex post facto or whatever it is that's anymore. A, that, I mean, that's, that's a way we're going. Yeah. Like, that is true. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's people going to jail for having used the N-word on podcasts. <laughs> yeah, well. Lewis is in the maximum security. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Lewis He's is. in the. Uh, That'd be great. I would love it to the be in plastic a, cube. a POW camp. It's me, Ari Shafir, Shane Gillis, <laughs> Lewis Gomez. <laughs> We're all in our cells That's passing right. notes back and forth. I'm yeah. visiting. I'm at Visitor's Hours because I never put it on record. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The whole time Lewis is like, I'm going to get out of here. I know it. I can see it. I have a five-year plan, but I'm the one that's going to get out of here. He's like Steve McQueen in The Great Escape. (laughs) He's like, you don't believe me, but just watch. I'm going to get out of here. I'm 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 sending you boys. Shut up. I'm sending you boys Slim Jims. Lewis does escape somehow, and we're like, shut up, Lewis. (laughs) (laughs) Just be, just shut Shut up, up, dude. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Anyway, now that we all can all admit that nobody said the N-word on this podcast. We don't even have to say that <laughs> the second part. I feel like it's not going It's away. getting beeped in that It's just not going away. <laughs> We're not cutting out. It'll be funny to cut out. Can I say now. something? It'll be funny to cut out like a minute since we've talked about so much how we're not cutting it out. It would be funny. You yeah. can't because there's a cop. There's copy in the middle. Of no, there wasn't copy in the middle. There wasn't for like a good minute afterwards. There was. I timed it. It was two and a half minutes. Trust me. It'll be funny. Because now, because the more we cut, the more it makes it seem like Adam was saying racist stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually four cutting like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you guys can figure it out with the audio guy. I don't know. You can cut the previous I'm going home. I'm racism. making some tea and I'm watching a movie and I'm not. Are you going to follow the rules when you make your tea? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I follow the rules. Rule, well, rule number watching? one do not say the N word on the podcast <laughs> with, a hard, with a hard R. In the middle no. of an ad read. No one Come said on. it no with one a hard said R. It. No one said it. Or I'm naming it. the rules. I'm telling okay. you what That's I do. the rules to the tea When I'm making. drinking tea. <laughs> Why are you getting angry? Jeez, <laughs> this has nothing to do with you. If you don't like it, don't drink tea, Adam. No, I got to make everything about me all the time. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. What's the second rule? Um, you're allowed to say the G slur. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love G slur. That's cool. G slur sounds better than G is a cool than the actual thing. thing. It's funny. It once like I transition, that. once I say the word, letter slur once, it becomes much harder to go back and say the actual mm, thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I get you. Say B slur a bunch and then go back to saying bitch. Nah, that one will forever slide. Say B slur. B slur. Say what? Well, I called my mother a B slur. I called my mama the damn a damn bitch. <laughs> 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 say this. Say repeat after me. Repeat after me. Sandra Bland is a- No, that's oh. different. Why is it different? <laughs> Cuz she was uh, murdered by the police. Yeah. If my mom was murdered by the police, I would less um I would be less cavalier. Now can you see it. somebody having that opinion of her? In her I su- life. I suppose. And what would they think of her? I that she's a what? Well, I don't I can't speak to that. You can't say why wow, you're doing one of your traps right now? It's not one of my traps. It's a rhetorical trap. It's not a trap. I I'm 
I'm just saying there's a context in which you'd be uncomfortable saying the B-slur. But it's about the specific person. No, it's because we introduced B-slur as a... No. Mm -hmm. Yes. I rest my case. You're a little ass dick bitch. No, we're talking about... uh, Would you say that about Sandra Bland? But no, I wouldn't say it about a woman who was murdered by the cops. <laughs> or someone that you... That's little ass dick beastler. <laughs> little ass dick bitch. Mm-hmm. Bitch still will... F- I mean, look. How about bitch slur? I like that. The bitch, bitch slur <laughs> is awesome. Yeah. That's, bitch slur. He called my wife the bitch slur. <laughs> that's that's just my ex-wife after midnight. <laughs> yeah. She's Which a bagel fucking mogwai. Boss, though, I tell you, I tried to... Like, bagel boss... Vinny was trying to get bagel boss on the show. Yeah, I We should get him that. on now. Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Two then years I, later. I offered, yeah. I, offered, boss I offered Bagel Boss like a free T-shirt just to wear on Instagram, mm-hmm. and like, like I guess he had a manager that called me, mm-hmm. and he's like, you know, it would probably cost some money, you know, to have him wear the shirt. And I was like, all right, have a nice day. Yeah, it's like I can't imagine managing Bagel Boss thinking that it's like, yeah, this guy, this is staying power. Dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is something that's going to be also how much pot theoretically someone's like, yeah, okay, yeah. What what thirty dollars? Yeah, like, at most. <laughs> <laughs> what? you can get you can go on Cameo right now and pay six dollars to get Daniel Day Lewis to say <laughs> to, to say ha- to say happy birthday to, to your, your dog. Milkshake. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna need thousands of dollars <laughs> mm-hmm. to for get the fucking bagel boss. Cameo is so fun. You get bombarded with emails. By yeah. So many emails. Yeah. Uh, I'm Tim, not doing that shit. Tim Dillon know, finally told him to fuck off. It's weird seeing like there are rich people that are on it. I, it's insane. I don't and understand it's like, why. What, what does Attention. Mr. Wonderful Attention. from Shark Tank need more money Attention. for? Mm. Attention from who? Wishing they, someone a happy birthday? Dude, right now, the industry is shut down. All of these people, all these celebrities that just start live on ego need anything. Mm. But are can. people really yeah. like that, though? The majority. Oh, yeah, yes. dude. They are. Come no, on. There that's are a crazy. Few cool, there are a few cool ones. But you, yeah. Why do you think Ryan Reynolds dropping in on the X Men call like like all they just need their faces out. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? No, but it's just like it's just a it was yeah, a yeah, headline. Yeah. I I can't forget anything. No, no, I hear yeah, you. Um, but like you know, like just all, all the the Imagine videos, everything that everyone's been doing. Mm. You see actors. Are just well, the Imagine like, videos, yes, but I mean, I, I I can't imagine that like fucking who's probably like like who's the biggest star on Cameo? The Rock. Oh no! Sorry. Oh, I I don't know. I don't know who's on cameo. I bet you there's oh. famous oh, mother. No, there's right famous now. motherfuckers on cameo. I'm here on cameo just because I can't go 15 minutes without saying happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I, the Rock just bought the XFL. I seem like Kevin I saw that. On that. About the, cool. money. the sex FL. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> right. And you get pussy from the cheerleaders. You got to put the ball in your pussy. Okay. It feels like a lot of Vine stars would be on Cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah for it sure. Feels like a natural progression. They're all in their mid twenties. They got to be. They got to be getting to. Oops, what did I do? Age. Mm-hmm. Oh I mean, yeah. Not if they have some money, they can just figure that out. No, but they don't. No, there's no way any of them have any of the money. Do you still. see? There was a raid on true. the Logan Paul mansion. There was. Yeah. What did he do? He had mad guns and shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's awesome. That's Rod awesome. Blagojevich is on Cameo. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried, Chip Chipperson. You can see Wait. Jim Norton do his character. That's good. That's if pretty I, cool. If I could get like Giovanni Ribisi to 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 read something, I would mm-hmm. probably do that. To put him on the, in a movie without even, him knowing. You just you know, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> it's, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fucking perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's your birthday. He that. does them all as a retarded guy. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, damn. None of these people seem too famous. I feel I, like... I, I feel like they can't. The Soup Nazi. Hell yeah, dude. Mark mm-hmm. McGrath. Hilarious. Mark I, McGrath. I'm going to pay the Soup Nazi $200 He's really to say no soup, for you. <laughs> <laughs> no soup for you. No soup for you. <laughs> hey, no soup for you, Mike. I'm sending Happy that to birthday. my co-worker. I'm using my 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 Corona money to to make soup Nazi say no soup for you to my friend for his birthday. Pendulet. Okay, you can ask about atheists. I seem like role players on sitcoms. Billy like Zane. He's a uh, cool guy. Terry Francona, who's currently an MLB manager. This <laughs> is so goddamn funny. Cameo has a heading called "Celebrating Black Excellence," <laughs> <laughs> and it's Damon John and Ray Lewis. <laughs> Ray Lewis killed someone. <laughs> Murderers. For How us dare us. you? Oh, my God. That is too funny. Damon John. Exactly. Shouldn't he be rich enough to not well, be on Cameo? I, well, I feel like your T-shirt company is going to turn it. You're the next Damon John. 
Yeah. With the t-shirt sales. Oh, yeah. He came up with t-shirts, right? Yeah. Gary Busey's on Cameo, apparently. Adam's t-shirt company, FNBN. <laughs> FNB Caitlyn Jenner's twenty five hundred dollars. FNBJ clothes. That's actually Fubu. I think was owned by a Jew. They bought it from the original, <laughs> <laughs> from the original like black guys that started. It's a clothing company called all right, FNBJ. All right. <laughs> no one knows what it stands for. <laughs> no, it's just random letters. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's good for me, folks. Yeah, pretty good. Dick Van Dyke, five hundred bucks. That's how much he costs. Yeah, <sighs> I would have. Dude, he's so old. It's, he's like a yeah, hundred. He, he makes me feel like I'm dying when I see. Yeah, he endures dude, Bernie. Like, he was in that new Mary Poppins thing. Are you? Uh, are you guys pretty Bernie? I don't. Yeah, we're Bernie. Yeah, yeah. we're, yeah. he's, he's this, this is a. I mean, it was a Bernie podcast. I've just yeah. been so upset years ago. Currently, so yeah, it's over. Like, yeah, I, I mean, want... who gives a shit about Bernie Sanders? Well, yeah. Now it's all I about. Do. Now it's all about f- figuring out how you can store a bunch of guns in your house before <laughs> you get. Uh, oh, I don't think Biden you get raided. Oh, think, damn! April and Phil Marger are on it together. Oh, for real? Yeah, pretty cool. That is tight. Dan Marino for only three fifty. Damn! Whoa! Pendulette looks like fucking Earthworm Jim now. He, yeah, yeah, he, he looks like shit. <clears throat> he's got. Yeah, he's got a classic neck pussy type situation. Hey, Kimberly, this is Pam. Pendulet, Penn and Teller. Big guy does magic. Small guy next to me, he does magic too, but he doesn't talk that much anyway. Dude, his teeth are fucked up. This is crazy. Look at Pendulet's teeth. They're like they've got like shit all over them because he eats poop. That's a that's a libertarian thing. I am entirely (laughs) self sufficient. (laughs) I am a one hundred percent libertarian, self sufficient machine. Yeah, I absorb solar energy and I eat my own shit. I bathe in my own piss. <laughs> Dude, some of these people are mad cheap. You can get Cedric for 150 Who's yeah. Cedric? C- the, the entertainer. entertainer? Oh, the entertainer? The legendary for Cedric the entertainer, yeah. What? Attention. That's, you can get attention. that guy Darren Rovell from ESPN for $35. Oh, hell yeah. The Breaking business, news. My the dick is small. The business guy. He's the business expert on ESPN. <laughs> yeah. But he uh, needs $35. He should be fired. <laughs> Dude, I, um, this is funny. I don't understand why you wouldn't like. Let's say I wanted to make money off this, right? Sure. Why wouldn't I just set up an email address, have people, do, and then just paint Venmo me? I'm sure because it's a, be, takes a cut, because dude. it's a platform that makes it more reachable for you. It's like why would you raise your campaign money to yeah. Act Blue? Because it's going to get more access. Yeah, to but it. it's well, not like I'm going to be bombarded by people that fucking want Cambio. It'd be one thing if I got a thousand motherfuckers. Begging to, for me. You should to just get on Cameo, dude. No, incre- I'm not getting on Cameo. It increases your reach. That's all. So yes, you could do an email list, but like, I'm know. saying I'm not. I don't want to do. I just don't understand why motherfuckers do Cameo. It's because oh. it's a plat. Like you said, it's a platform that already exists. Damn, Chevy Chase, five hundred dollars. That's dark. It's like getting paid to yeah. take a selfie. I mean, like, if you, I if guess you, that's true. They don't. Some, it's, it's the same reason. Cash? It's the same reason to be on Patreon. It's like no it's one a really, platform. No one already. really gives a fuck. Meredith just... from the office is probably dying of some um, illness she can't afford. <laughs> yeah. like, she goes on. She goes on. You're right. You just Cameron, sign up. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we should all pitch in to get Caitlyn Jenner for Nick. Twenty five hundred. I already said that, but nobody Ooh. listens. Oh, I didn't hear you. Sorry. You know what? Fuck. Somebody you. listens, and he keeps all the ideas in his head, and then spits them out like they're his. <laughs> okay, Caitlin here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, girlfriend. Hey, hey, girlfriends. Happy birthday to Stavros. I loved it when Donald Trump said trans people can't use the other bathroom. She's like. Donald, just a trans girl here. I'm going to use the bathroom in Trump Tower. It was pretty cool. Really showed him. Yeah, she showed him. Really showed that motherfucker. Here to use the bathroom. It's so funny. The world sucks so much that there was like a huge storm yesterday in the Midwest. And I was just watching like tornadoes destroy property and like places get fucked up in Chicago by strong winds. And it felt like good news right? (laughs) because it's nature. (laughs) I can watch just a a wildfire kill hundreds of thousands of people and be like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not doing it to ourselves. Right, yeah. Natural disasters have been elevated to the level of puppy videos. (laughs) By how fucked up the regular news is. It's so 90s to care about them. Yeah. Yeah. I watched sure. Twister again recently. You gotta be I, careful, I just said you gotta be I careful saying the word Twister's 90s, Adam. 
<laughs> the 90s. Um, How about, yeah, VH1, I love the the 90s. <laughs> that was a good program, man. I spent a lot of time watching that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember, I remember, because I, I, I didn't have cable, but I would, like, just be sort of aware of these things. Mm-hmm. I remember being in a friend's house and seeing that they were up to I Love the 90s, and I'm like, wow. What's next? <laughs> yeah. They literally did I Love the 2000s. Yeah. And it was like they 2000. It. You know, it would become true TV. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Dude. They should do like I Love the the 1930s in Germany. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they should do that. And it's yeah. how Sparks being like, finally, we're getting some answers. <laughs> <laughs> Who caused all this economic yeah. devastation? Yeah. I yeah. think yeah. we all know. People, people at the time were just walking around, and no one bothered to even question what FNBJ stood for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had it in the 30s? They had it in yeah, the 30s. They had it in the <laughs> 30s. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, dude. Um, I love the nineties. Uh, for Nuremberg by mm-hmm. you know somebody else <laughs> by somebody another company. The company of uh, you know whatever. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I know. What I you think mean. I can read between the lines on this one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, Dylan, you want to tell us about <laughs> yeah the movie? <laughs> yeah, let's get that plug. Uh, yeah. We got Killer Raccoons 2, Dark Christmas in the Dark. It's available everywhere. Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, uh, Vudu, all those things on demand. It's also in some theaters kind of right now, um, spare style, and it'll, it'll be coming out throughout the fall. Um, but it's a uh, number one comedy in America right now. It's mm-hmm. got a great, huge. A huge, huge cast of fun people like James Adomian, Nick Turner, Nick Vatterot. Oh, those are um, good guys. Ron buddies. Lynch. There's a great role. We got Ron Jeremy in the movie. Oh, um, yeah. Before he raped. Before, he, yeah, well, yeah, actually, it's a big, it's a big way of contention. You got Chris Delia in the, the movie? No. <laughs> no. Brian Chris Callen. De- Chris Delia was available, <laughs> but we, we went with Ron Jeremy. Um, and so the, but the, the day we, the day we wrapped Ron Jeremy, he was on the, as soon as we wrapped. He raped you. Somebody, another comic that was on set, was like, hey, look at TMZ. And it's allegations against um, allegations against Ron Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so we had people asked to have their names removed from the movie. <laughs> like, like, really, That's so funny. I mean, you really can't work with anybody anymore. They donated their checks to Rain. It's always the next day. You think a guy's cool, and then boom, the they're just word. saying something and during the middle of that. Where, <laughs> well, people asked us to reshoot the movie. Yeah, and I was like, shit. yeah, I mean, that happens grand. a lot in this industry yeah. where people ask you to do something completely just mm-hmm. inconsiderate. Yeah, it wouldn't be inconsiderate. That of really yeah. two and a half years. All this work. extra work mm-hmm. when it's like, why don't you just remove it's someone, the rape scene? Someone's doing it. For, why don't you just we're beep, paying them to do it? You just beep <laughs> the, not that difficult. You just beep the rape scene out. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said the rape scene. You're watching a movie. <laughs> but it's still like all it's those still, images. Still still it. Still see it. Yeah. 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 Uh, sounds nice, but, man. But yeah, it's a it's a fun. It's like a it's a uh, like an airplane loaded weapon naked gun type movie. Love that. Doing um uh, temple action sequels from the nineties, mainly shot for shot under siege two. But you know, it's oh, got that nice. movie, but oh, it's yeah. just loaded with jokes. It's the one on like, a train. It's on a train. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's it's almost the same movie, but it's just filled with like we make fun of how ridiculously, you know, like chauvinistic and and poor, non woke the nineties are, while also sort of like attacking woke culture. I wish I same, could at the same time enjoy it, something as much as an adult as I enjoyed Wrongfully Accused when I was a kid. It was so oh, funny, yeah. dude. I fucking yeah, that's a great movie. The yeah. train gag. The train is so funny. The train gag was hilarious when the train looks around the tree. Yeah. Nothing will make me laugh that hard. I don't Leslie Nielsen Wrongfully was like my favorite well, comedian as a kid. Well, that's in, Travis. Travis Irvine directed and wrote this and edited, and put his heart and soul in it for like three years. Uh-huh. And he's, Shout out Travis. It's and, a weird way that like things kind of because I mean I've known Travis fifteen years. Yeah, so. he was a DC guy. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like these people because he's not in. I mean, where is he? New York or you well, know he, you know him from well, Ohio. We're both from Columbus. Yeah, and, um, and we. Uh, we he had been to DC and LA when I moved to New York in 2011. Yeah, he moved with me. Oh, and yeah, then that's we've right. been like we've we ran shows like we had book shows around the city. Me, him, and Dean Masello. I don't know if you ever met. I know him. Dean. He's a he's a good I comic. Know Travis. Um, but we uh, so we always worked together. And then I when I moved into production, Travis had the script and was like, "I've got like 30k. Can you make this happen?" 
Like, is this possible? That's awesome. And so we like, I was like, fuck it. I'd rather be doing this than, you know, even, mm-hmm. even just to learn how to go through the process of making a movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I do like million dollar shoots that are week long in New York. Yeah. But I've never like that, you know, that whole process, you starting a business, running through the whole thing is a mm-hmm. great learning experience, a f- sense of accomplishment. Like all, all that like changed my life. I'll be making movies for the rest of my life. Hands That's down tight. because mm-hmm. of this, because of this movie. And it's, and like, and Travis just loaded it with jokes because we took yeah. it on tour after the last time I was here. I had to watch it 20 times in the theater. Mm-hmm. It was like by the end of the tour, my, the, the only part of my day I enjoyed was rewatching the movie. <laughs> yeah. It was just like whiskey and chicken fingers. I did like 20,000 miles in, in like 19 days that like driving around. It was, it, 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 it would, but it, but it Dude. sold out. We had a couple like near sold out shows. The night Star Wars opened. We were like ninety percent sold out. That's Damn! Awesome. Now I want chicken wingers, yeah. chicken fingers. Whoa! Chicken someone fingers. almost had himself a little it's Adam a moment. Chicken wingers. Right. I know. I'm just saying it was it was similar. No, uh, to what? Say chicken wingers, chicken wings, chicken fingers. All right, we don't have to. You get know what? Chicken wingers them. should exist. Boneless chicken you wings that are still shaped to fucking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And yeah, let's him bleep, in, Adam. Tell Adam to bleep this out too. The er out of the <laughs> so that it yeah, sounds like Adam. Adam dip him in. Producer. Dip him in. <laughs> honey producer Adam needs to. Pre- to no, um, see, I, I was going to do that anyways to save you, my friend. And now you've had to blow the <laughs> lid off the whole thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. My oh. carefully, my carefully planned moment. I For thought, you how to publicly I... say friend like that, it means the world to me. <laughs> well, guess what? Now is being bleeped out. The word friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dude, that's a great idea. We should just make a fucking shitty. I'm not saying yours movie, uh, but a shitty no, movie and take it on tour. That way, we don't have to perform. Mm-hmm. That's what's what the worst part about going on tour doing live podcast? I should pay somebody to just go through and bleep out every time I've complimented Adam. I <laughs> 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 say something, I should bleep it. Out. Mm-hmm. We should. We should rip the episodes up <laughs> and put them back in. Uh, um, but yeah. you're right, stuff. T- touring with movies is going to be a thing. Yeah, it's our yeah, like independent movies. That's a, it's a way to it's a way to tour with them if you can build up some sort of. And it's it's super fun because in don't. in ten fifteen years there's got to be some kind of like ad hoc like uh, distribution network that completely probably something they're all in the works right now yeah I don't know if it would be blockchain or what I have no idea how technology where technology is at now I'm too old to pay attention to sure. it but in, like eventually there's going to be a thing where the only thing you need funding for is production and distribution yeah. is just there's there's no money in distribution it, yeah it's 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 getting there like like the cost of our distribution is so low yeah and we made the movie for so low that we we, we it's almost like it's too cheap to fail yeah if you will but like that's the way they're they're like yeah like this if this is our worst movie you guys are going to make some money yeah so i was like okay that if you nice. if you go into it with that but like i'm trying to make a shitty movie but it, that sounds awesome but as far as like you and you, but you can distribute it and we're going to tour with it probably every christmas because mm-hmm. it's a christmas movie mm. um and so we'll probably we'll use whatever it build up to 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 spot tours and and do that every year that's tight and you can do like q and a's and stuff like that and that's that's all fun cuz you're it's like doing a podcast after yeah. that you know it's also a christmas movie actually is <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, for real? Yeah, dude, it's my favorite Christmas. That's I saw, fucking I saw, awesome. Uh, I saw a, a knitted <laughs> sweater on Facebook that said so. That's awesome. Oh, Tyher? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're talking about Tyher? Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. That's really fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a guy flying across country to save his family. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've, never, I've never heard that before. <laughs> you know you have heard before? The, Adam, please stop. high quality Adam, please stop sucking of my cushy dick. dreams. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't try and save it now. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening, everyone. Thanks Go watch lot. the movie. Please. Uh, Check out the movie, especially if Mr. you're Mr. Chinese. Raccoon's Pussy Getting Adventure. Yeah. Okay. If you're a Chinese American living in America, watch the movie. Recommend it to your family back in China. Mm-hmm. Back in Wu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they. We'll what? try and make sure the Gook Squad's in the third one. <laughs> yeah. You can say that because those are Koreans, the Chinese in them. G Slur. Not they don't have a necessarily like bad relationship, but uh, they're, don't they're they? definitely different people. Yes, I mean that's true. Well, the Chinese and the Koreans don't have the same thing that the Japanese and the right. Koreans Everyone do. hates the Japanese, right? Well, the, the Japanese yes. were very cruel to both people. Yeah, the ja- it's yeah. some WW two type shit. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, it's really the, the like the Jews of the East. Yeah, the Japanese know the, they, the Japanese they had are the more, Germans of the East. They okay. had more actual power than the Jews. We well, got bombs. State power. Mm-hmm. Germans of the Orient. The Germans of the Orient is the, the Japanese. Yeah, man, I can't wait for New Year's. But they actually got what's. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm getting pumped for New Year's. Oh, okay. That's unreal. I, we didn't even say that on the show ever. No, we were just talking about it yeah. off mic. That's, a guy that's looking yeah, forward to New Year's. Talking about being in August and just being like, dude, I'm so excited for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Um, all right, listen to the movie. Go Listen, go to stavi.biz and, then and buy a shirt. And send a bunch of... Uh, all of your box. Buy a shirt. What does the blockbuster do shirt say? The blockbuster shirt. It's Life not only a blockbuster shirt. Life it's only gets a, worse. It's a shirt that stands on its, its own. It's a blue and yellow shirt. <laughs> That's the thing. It's a blue ah, and yellow shirt. It that looks has like nothing a to torn do ticket with any brand whatsoever. Mm-hmm. It's so actually. Many, it's like so many levels of joke in that shirt. I I I, I love that shirt. It's just you know I I spend with all of my art I spend time reflecting on pain. And then I mm-hmm. allow my processes to 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 sort of relate that to people through whatever it feels instinctual. That's deep. I, 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 thank and you for it, sharing. And you know that's how you get like a T-shirt that has. Um, Have people asked you to sell their stuff on your site? Uh, what? Oh, you mean like other sales channels? Other like other other the people margins like, aren't good enough to do anything like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah, no. I, I'd be. I would. I'd just be surprised. It seems like you have a great store. It's all right, but I mean the margins for for shirts are not that good, especially if you want like stuff that's well done and then also like drop shipped. Sure, yeah. Um, but yeah, check it out. Come check it out. Check it out. It up is. There's a new shirt. We got a new shirt. This one, I heard people's complaints that I can't wear this or I'll get beat up with almost everything else I've made. Uh-huh. So this one's. I, a, I've had that problem. Yeah, I want. I'm like, I like, I I'm too much of a pothead to wear one of your weed ones. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like I wear the I have a specialty made Benoit one that's a tank top that I got made just for me. I, I was like, yeah, the, I like the Benoit one. I was mm-hmm. like, but I've been I've been searching for the right one. You dropped that. I was like, I was gonna buy it, but it wasn't for sale yet. I'll 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 uh yeah, just send me your address after. Didn't that, didn't I send you? Did you get a shirt before or no? No, you gave me a Ridge wallet. That was it. Um, <laughs> and it, and it changed my life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I love it. All right. Well, can you can we see the movie on like iTunes or Amazon? iTunes, Amazon, Great. Google, YouTube. Go Voodoo. buy the movie. Um, Adam, would you like to apologize? I would like to apologize to everyone I've let down. But I, for doing nothing. For doing wrong. nothing wrong. Yeah. That nobody said any that kind there's of slur. Absolutely no record. And, of. and we would like to make it clear that what Adam did. All right, Nick. Is um. No, because this show's growth. Say it, say it. And it's uh-huh. it's it's right, it's ahead. completely different than the Shane Gillis situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh you know, I mean the guys like Shane are just those are those are losers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those guys are just racist losers. Oh, racist losers. But when we do it, it's when different. we say the N word on a podcast, it's different because you know, we wrote right. on the Rosie O'Donnell show. Right. <laughs> And we were the best part of the Voss roast. <laughs> <laughs> we're, of course, shitting on Judy Gold, who's uh, a piece of shit. Copy that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Enemy of the show, Judy Gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going, we're going. Uh, uh, we did fuse. expand the me- the but, enemies list, the yeah. official enemies Look, list. Look, if this show's not going to die naturally, it will die by way of the sword. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm, ta- I'm taking but, shots on but, this show for the rest let's of the year. Kill the subreddit's it. dead. I is think that, they just they got their own website now. I went on there after the, the last episode. First mm-hmm. comment was like, "Isn't it amazing how you can just tell someone's fat from their voice?" <laughs> and I was just like, "Done." <laughs> like, 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 that was the top comment, and I was like, "Off oh, in the episode." So. Oh, they called you fat. <laughs> the, the, the first, the, like the by far the first mm-hmm. comment was, mm-hmm. "Isn't it amazing how you can just tell somebody's fat from their voice?" Well, and you, I was like, "I'm not reading this." That's well, you have a six pack actually, so they were yeah. wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, they can just go, they can Google and see how fat I am. <laughs> Yeah, you look great. You look they, hot. Dude. You look you're hot. They, they think Stav weighs 142 pounds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they think he's beautiful. I am beautiful. What if they? What if we just hired a model to be Stav publicly, <laughs> just for pics? And that there were no ever live shows, but we just like created this idea that Stav doesn't look like this. Yeah, he loves. Oh, I think that Stav. happens a lot. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I would have some. Fucking privacy. You just get the. (laughs) Damn, it's so funny to fantasize about privacy. Yeah, Yeah. I often. No, because it is truly now just like an absurd luxury. I know that you like. I, it, because because of to what extent you have to be public to make enough money to have privacy anymore, the only people that can have true privacy are people that come from generational wealth. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, I, my goal, I've always said, is uh, I can't wait till I'm successful enough to go back to a flip phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's like like that's like that's my benchmark. Like that mm-hmm. to me is like that's where I'm that's where I'm striving. Oh yeah. To get to where I'm like never 
Yeah. Like, you can call me, text me, maybe. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, my goal is to get fappening so I can set the record straight on my the length of my testicles. <laughs> the little, is there, been, is there, little. Is there debate? On they're that? little and Stop they're heavy. said that they're small and long, and it's not true. It's true. Mine are uneven. It's not true. <laughs> most, people, I think uh, most people have a long, do, do one, one longer one. One ball usually right. hangs. The well, left like, one usually hangs My tube hangs got tied lower. in a knot. All right. Really? Did yeah. you have to go to the hospital? Yeah. Testicular torsion, folks. Like, oh, yeah. That happened to a friend of mine. The too. silent killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. All right, folks. Bye. This is a big XL episode. Love you. Bye.